Deputy Premier Dan Pen has come out in opposition to the UK's upcoming proposal for the Virgin Islands to submit their budget estimates to the UK for a review some two months in advance of it being passed in the Virgin Islands House of Assembly. Dan Pen made the disclosure during her 8th district elections campaign launch in Parham Town. She said that the BVI has managed its affairs well in the past and has been balancing its own budget since the then Chief Minister Willard Wheatley got the VI out of grant and aid in 1977. The Deputy Premier said that she is not afraid to voice her disagreement with the UK's proposal. People should know these things because they're going to affect them and they're going to affect their children and their grandchildren. One of the proposals that is being made is that we are going to have to send our budget, our draft budget, to London every year, two months, before we can pass it in our House of Assembly here. And I am on record, and I don't mind saying it here, I am on record as opposing us having to send our budget to London two months before we need to pass it. We have managed our affairs well. We haven't done everything 100%. We could have done a lot of things better. I myself criticized some other things. But we, from 1977, have been budget balancing our own budget. Why do we now have to be sending it to London two months before for them to scrutinize it? And that's not the only thing, but I make that, I bring that one home to you because it's very real. There were days when to buy a fridge, an ordinary fridge, you used to have to get permission from the British government through Barbados. Well, it weekly took us out of that, and we're going back there. Responding to the statement, National Democratic Party candidates, while speaking at the rally in Boggers Bay, blamed the Virgin Islands Party's poor financial management and deficit spending for placing the BVI in what the NDP leader Dr. Orlando Smith calls a retrograde step. NDP at-large candidate Ronnie Skelton said that the BVI has reached this stage where the UK wants to take back control of the territory's finances because of the mismanagement of funds by the VIP government. This Virgin Islands party government, because of its recklessness, mismanagement of the funds, wasteful and deficit spending, and I believe as we speak they are still spending, has put this territory in a very dangerous position where the United Kingdom government is about to strip us of a hard fought for autonomy. Our late Chief Minister, Willard Wheatley, took us out of granting aid and 24 years after our Premier carries back in. Because they continue to spend recklessly. If you go from Annie Geller to Justin Dex, they're spending monies that they don't have, that the country doesn't have. And the, the workers at the hospital can't be paid this pay period. Ladies and gentlemen, this can get worse. They can, this can get worse. I saw contracts that this government signed for nearly $3 million and they know they don't have the money to do it. The $15 million that they were relying on from, from the CDB is held up in London because of the mismanagement and, and reckless spending of this government. According to figures presented by Premier Honorable Ralph O'Neill in the House of Assembly, on August 30, 2011, the Virgin Islands government had spent over $148 million more than it earned over the past three years between 2008 to 2010. In addition, the $15 million loan, which was approved by the Caribbean Development Bank earlier this year for infrastructural rehabilitation as of last month, was yet to be approved by the UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office. According to the UK Minister for Overseas Territories, Henry Bellingham, the UK, through its present consultation process, is looking at frameworks that will help the UK overseas territories to better manage their finances.